crisis, it's not an option. Governor Don Kachiri says cities and towns must reach cost-cutting deals with workers in order to ride out the drowning economy. The governor is proposing to slash nearly $100 million from municipal governments and schools to help bounce the state's massive deficit. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is covering the economy. He joins us live with more on this controversial proposal. Yes, Karen, Governor Kachiri is now urging Rhode Island's 39 cities and towns to make major structural changes to help close the state's latest budget shortfall. You know, th this is not a news bulletin. You know, we're in very, very difficult time. So difficult that here come those cuts again. This time, $85 million in state aid to cities and towns to help close Rhode Island's latest budget shortfall of $220 million. I'm not out to punish anybody. I wish we weren't where we are. Nobody wants, none of us like to have 75,000 people out of work and a 12.9% unemployment and an economy that's in the tank. I, but that's, what we, that's where we are. And well, all I'm saying is either we got two choices. We can lop grenades at one another, all right, and criticize one another, or face the reality. For Rhode Island's 39 cities and towns, the reality is get by with less. That almost certainly will mean renegotiating less expensive union contracts with teachers and other municipal workers. I don't know how these this kinds of reductions can be made without those without that happening. Without yes. reopening union contracts. It's going to be up to the local communities to determine how to do this. The alternative is to raise property taxes but in a state that already has among the highest tax burdens in the country, no one here thinks that's likely. Live at the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.